everyone, Sandy here. Uh, today I'm going to attempt to repot this little guy. Um, I believe this is called the Spoon Leaf Sundew. Um, I don't have the scientific name, but I'll list it in the video somewhere. Um, reason why I want to um, repot it is it seems like it's overcrowding, it's spilling over. And it looks like it needs a little more space to like grow out. Um, yeah, I never potted one of these before, so I hope I don't mess it up because it does look like it's doing very well. And I apologize for um, all these fungus gnats. I, I know it's so gross, right? But I'm having a huge infestation in my house right now. Um, my husband has been complaining nonstop about it. Uh, I already tried cutting down and watering. Um, I'm also using some neem oil and some mosquito bits. Um, I believe that's stuff you put in water and it's supposed to, uh, when watering your plants, it's supposed to kill the lava. And I'm also using those um, yellow sticky paper. Where is it? Let me show you. These things. These yellow stickies. As you can see, you know, they're full of them. Okay. But yeah, to my surprise, they they really like this plant and they're sticking to it. Um, I have two other um, carnivorous plants, um, but they're not as sticky. Not sure why. Those are the butterworth, I believe. Um, they are growing, so I think they got out of their dormant um, stage, but still not sticky enough to catch these little things. Um, so the way I care for it, I just leave it in this little dish of spring water. Um, seems to be happy. Um, I'm not sure if I'm doing it correctly or not, but it seems like it's working. Look at how many flowers it's shooting up. So when I purchased it, um, it came with these two. As you can tell, they're dead. I have to cut them off. But now look at it. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so it looks like it's really happy. Okay. So let's see. Let's try to cut these things off first. Hope I don't damage it. So here's one. Okay, um, I'm taking this out one time already just to take a look. Oh, I had tweezers, I don't have tweezers with me now. Be right back. Okay, so I have some tweezers. Um, these leaves are extremely uh, delicate, it breaks really easily, so I don't want to use any big tools. Let's see if I can carefully lift this up. Here you go. So this is how it looks. It's like a plug. Is that what you call it? That disintegrates. Look, it, it even catches these little beetles. Okay, so... Um, Let's see. I was thinking of putting it in this. Is this too big? <laughs> uh, let me see if is there a small oh here. This is a little smaller. Yeah, let's go with this. Let's, let's use this one. So again, I never did this before. So if anyone has a better way of depotting this into a bigger um, Hot, please comment below. And also, um, since the plant is so fragile, um, I'm afraid that I'm afraid of um, separating the plant. So in the meantime, I guess I'll just keep it in one big plant. So yeah, I have some uh, stagnant uh, moss laying around. 
So I'm just gonna soak it. So it will become softer so it can easily wrap it around that plant and put it in the pot. Uh, for those who don't know, I got this little plant from Logies. Um, I'll put the haul video in the description box below. I'll also put the walk around in there too, so feel free to take a look. Um, so I don't remember any prices or anything like that, but all that information is in that video. Oh, this, this seems pretty good. Pretty moist. Okay, so let's see. Put a little on the bottom. I'm hurting it. Just enough. So what do you guys think? Did I do okay? And yeah, hope you like my video. Um, again, any tips on how to care or divide this little thing, please comment below. And if I'm doing this incorrectly, also comment below. And before you go, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys all soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.